Colm, you're a hundred thousand times welcome. You know, great to see you again. And I'm just going to ask you to unmute because I'm chatting to myself. <laughs> Are you getting a message? There you are. Got it. Got it. Yes. Fantastic. So, Colm, it's great to see you again. Nice you to know, see you. You look as if you're in some salubrious place in Greece, but tell everyone where you're coming from tonight. No, I'm I'm, uh, I'm taking a little break from recording uh, an album. I'm, worked, I'm down in Bristol with a producer down in Bristol. So he's busy working away upstairs, and I've I've snuck downstairs to, uh, to sing you a song. Fantastic. <laughs> So very soon now, uh, Colin, we're going to have our festival. In fact, it's going to be on from the 17th to the 19th of September. So we're right. hoping that all, all these lovely people that we're meeting in cyberspace, that they'll, they'll come and uh, join us for our festival. So maybe, you'll never know, we might see you very soon. On the oh, it would be good to see you in the flesh, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to let you off to sing us a gorgeous song because I know you're busy. Go on. Um, this is a this is a song you all of most of you probably heard this before, um, but it's another. I do like my ballads, and this is a a, a ballad that I that I absolutely love. It was on one bright March morning I bid New Orleans adieu. And I took on the road to Jackson Town, my fortune to renew. I cursed all foreign money, no credit could I gain. And it had my heart longing for the ladies of Pontchartrain. I stepped on board of the railroad car underneath the morning sun and I rode the road to Jackson Town till I laid me down again no stranger would befriend me till a dark girl toward me came and I fell in love with that Creole girl on the lakes of Bunche Train. I said, my bunny Creole lass, my money, it is no good. And if it weren't for the alligators, I'd sleep out here in the woods. You're welcome here, kind stranger. Our house is very plain, but we've never shown a stranger here on the lakes of Pontchartrain. Train. So she took me home to her mammy's house and treated me right well. And the hair upon her shoulders in jet black ringlets fell. To try to paint her beauty, I'm sure to be in vain. So handsome was that Creole girl on the lakes of the Ponche train. And I asked her if she'd marry me, she said that could never be, for she had a lover who's far away at sea, and she swore that she would wait for him, and true, she would remain until he returned to his Creole girl by the lakes of the Pontchartrain. 
So it's fare thee well, my Creole girl, I never will see no more. And I'll ne'er forget it's your kindness in a cottage down at the shore and at each social gathering a flowing glass i will drain and i will drink to the health of that creole girl by the lakes of fun she train oh i'll drink to the health of that creole girl by the lakes of the fun she train I loved that. My my cousin actually proposed to his wife on that song. He really? used to sing her, yeah, he used to sing her that song. So what beautiful memories. And that's the thing about songs. Songs are like um a soundtrack to our memories and times in our lives. So thank yeah. you so much for that one. You're welcome. And I also, um, Colm, I was talking to you the last time about how you play sometimes. Mm -hmm with the storyteller, a wedge storyteller, is that correct? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so we, we have to have the two of you on at some stage, you know, kind of doing your beautiful blend of stories and music. Just Yeah, gorgeous. we'll have to sort that out, yeah. Exactly. So I know you're going back to the recording. I'm really looking forward to the new album. So I'm going to let you go and thank you so much for stopping by our lovely rambling house. Thank Thanks for asking me, Maria. Thank you. Not at all. So. And um, there we go. So our next.